Begin your scrub top by pinning the back neck bias piece to the back neck with right sides together. Using 3 8 or 1 half inch of seam allowance, beginning and ending with the back stitch, stitch the bias binding to the back neck. Press the bias up and away from the shirt with the seam allowance up towards the bias piece. Flip the shirt over and be sure that all of the bias tape is flat. Understitch the seam allowance to the bias at 1 8 of an inch beginning and ending with the back stitch. This will help the bias tape roll in towards the body. Fold the bias seam allowance down to the stitch line and press well. Then fold the bias tape again and press to encase the raw edge, leaving 1 16th or 1 8th of an inch of the outer shirt showing on the inside of the neckline. At the sewing machine, top stitch the bias strip one eighth of an inch away from the turned bottom edge. Press the back neckline flat. Press the front neckband pieces in half with the wrong sides together at the iron. Then pin the neckband pieces together at the dots that you had on your pattern. Stitch at a half inch seam allowance on the V. Using a ruler and chalk, mark 5 8 of an inch on either side of the V neck on the shirt front and the neckband pieces. Pin the points of the V on the neckband and front shirt. Stitch at 5 8 of an inch, keeping the machine needle in the V when you get to the point. Pivot the neckband with the machine needle in the fabric. And clip the single layer of the front shirt to the V point. Do not clip the neckband pieces. Sew the second side of the neckband for two inches. Check for any tucks and seam rip if necessary, and then restitch. Stitch the top of the neckband to the shirt neckline beginning and ending on the existing stitches at 5 8 of an inch. You will start this on the first side, stop, clip the threads, remove the fabric from the machine, and then repeat again on the second side. Search about a quarter inch of the raw edge off of the neckline, trimming the seam allowance to be approximately 3 eighths of an inch. If you'll notice the first line in on the left of the bottom of the presser's foot, there's a little notch. Line that up with your stitch line and that should cut off the appropriate amount of seam allowance. Repeat the serging technique on the second side, and then clip your thread tails.
press the neck band flat, being sure that you aren't creating any tucks in the seam line between the neck band and the front shirt. Mark with chalk and top stitch the surged edge at a quarter inch away from the ditch of the v-neck seam to secure the seam allowance. Pivot at the V. Mark the front shoulder seams at 5 eighths of an inch with chalk. Pin to the back shoulder seams so that the edges are flush with the right sides together. Sew the shoulder seams at 5 eighths of an inch. Surge the shoulder seams together. Press the seams towards the back of the shoulder. Surge the side seams together. Alternatively, you can stitch the side seams and then surge the side seams. However, it is okay just to surge them. Press the side and sleeve seams towards the back of the body. Twice turn and press the sleeve hem and bottom hem. Stitch 1 8 of an inch away from the turned edge on both sleeves and the bottom hem. Finally, secure the seam allowance at the neckline by pressing the seam allowance towards the back and then stitching at one eighth or one quarter inch away for one inch to secure the neckline.